Greetings, 84th Training Command, soldiers and civilians. I'm Major General Mike Castellanos, and I wanted to take a quick minute to outline where I see us now and where we're headed. Our mission is to conduct and validate realistic combat support, collective training, leader development, and mission command in a decisive action training environment that enable commanders to build combat power and to prepare soldiers and units for combat operations. Each one of you is a critical part of that mission. And as we move forward, the 84th will be undergoing a change in organizational structure designed to enable us to more effectively execute our purpose. This process has been ongoing, and you might have some apprehension about what these changes mean for you. Rest assured that we spent the necessary time and listened to many concerns and have worked tirelessly to develop the correct way ahead to both meet the intent of transformation and also do what's right for our 84th soldiers and civilians. In the past few months, I've had the opportunity to meet some of our outstanding team members at OCT academies, exercise workshops, and events like our Best Warrior competition. It has been truly amazing to see the work that you do and all that goes on in the background to make it happen. As we enter the peak of exercise season, my intent is to make it out to as many of our exercises and locations as possible. I ask each of you to take the time to introduce yourself so I know who you are. It's been a tough year, but I've been equally amazed with how we've all adapted to overcome the challenges. If you have the opportunity to take one of the available COVID-19 vaccines, I urge you to do so. If you have apprehension, I ask you to look at the information put out by the CDC and other organizations to learn about the efficacy of the vaccines. I see vaccination as the right thing to do for both the health and safety of our community and to enable the resumption of normal operations. Lastly, as we move forward, I ask each of you to look back to why you joined the Army. I bet for most of us it was because our family served or because we wanted to serve our nation. It was for a higher calling. No one joined with the intent to disrespect those we were planning to serve with. This said, I want you to help me ensure and protect the reasons why we joined and to respond to those actions that are not in line with those values of respect and dignity. Each one of us serving today owe it to ourselves and our teammates to do what is right. It's an honor to serve alongside you all. Rail Splitters, 84th out.